today to discuss the need to immediately increase our domestic energy production to counter Russia's invasion of Ukraine. For an energy-rich nation such as ours, it's unacceptable that our country has been increasingly reliant on Russia for oil. In recent months, we've imported nearly 600,000 barrels per day of Russian oil. At the same time, the Biden administration has worked systematically to shut down domestic U.S. oil and gas production. American oil and gas producers, including those in North Dakota, have proven that they have the capacity to produce more oil here at home. We had gotten to 1.5 million barrels of oil a day production, now 1.1 million barrels a day. We can do more. Other states can do more. We need to do it not only for our consumers here at home, but to help our allies in Europe. Our economy, quality of life, and security depend on access to low-cost, dependable energy from all sources, both traditional and renewable. Biden's administration's hostile energy policies treat America's abundant oil, gas, and coal reserves differently, and they treat it as a liability. We're seeing the direct consequence of that approach, allowing, uh, allowing investment and dollars to flow to energy producers like Russia, Iran, and other countries that leverage their own energy against our interests with little or no regard for environmental stewardship, whereas our environmental stewardship is the best in the world. It's time we harnessed our vast strategic energy reserves and maintain our status as a global energy powerhouse. President Biden will soon deliver his State of the Union address, and it's time he works with us to support our domestic energy producers and abandon his failed approach to energy policy. Each additional barrel of oil we can produce here at home strengthens our economic and national security and helps our allies. Each additional U.S. barrel offsets production from Russia and other adversaries. Each additional barrel of oil helps reduce prices for American consumers, and because energy is built into virtually everything we consume, lowering energy costs helps bring down inflation. That means empowering and encouraging our domestic producers and reversing the Biden administration's policies that curtail production. To start, the Interior Department needs to immediately end the leasing moratorium and hold, and hold previously postponed lease sales both onshore and offshore. We need to expand our energy infrastructure to ensure efficient delivery to consumers. That includes approving the Keystone XL pipeline which is legislation I approved or that I led and we passed during the Obama administration. Now, it was vetoed by President Obama, but we, it was my bill. We approved it in this chamber, approved it in the House, got it to the President. The President vetoed it. If he hadn't, we'd have Keystone Pipeline today, bringing millions of more uh, barrels of energy to our country and to our allies, working with our closest friend and ally, Canada. We need to strengthen our energy trade with Canada, as I said, obviously one of our most important allies. It also includes building new natural gas pipelines to connect areas like New England to domestic gas reserves in Pennsylvania and West Virginia. We need to expand liquefied natural gas, LNG exports to our European allies to provide cleaner, more efficient alternatives to Russian gas. The gas that we send from our LNG facilities to Europe on a lifestyle life cycle basis has 41 percent less emissions than Russian gas. I'll soon be introducing the American Energy Independence from Russia Act, bicameral legislation with Representative Kathy McMorris Rogers, which requires the President to provide Congress with an energy security plan that first evaluates U.S. oil imports and exports, second addresses, assesses our energy security risks based on oil imports, and third encourages domestic U.S. domestic oil production to offset Russian imports. This is all about a return to the regulatory certainty to protect our capacity to produce energy, and that means helping producers attract capital investment. It's time we unleash the full potential of U.S. energy producers to strengthen our energy independence and weaken authoritarian adversaries like Russia and others. In addition to strengthened national security, robust domestic energy production will help provide lower energy costs and relief from inflation for hard-working American families. We need to unleash our energy resources for the sake of our own consumers and our allies. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.
Mr. M Madam President.